what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of x for which x over 2 or raised to the 6 is equal to 3 to the 6 well our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices that says when i have a over b or raised to the n this is same as a to the n all over b to the n now we're going to be writing this which is this expression like that so this becomes x over 6 all over 2 to the 6 equal to the right hand side 3 to the 6 now our next step will be for us to cross multiply so we have x to the 6 to be equal to 2 to the 6 times 3 to the 6. Now this simplifies into x to the 6 to be equal to. Now notice that what we have here, you see that we have common powers. So we're going to be applying the law of indices there as well, which says when I have a to the n times b to the n this is same as a times b all raised to the n so that means this expression now becomes 2 times 3 all raised to the 6 and this further simplifies into x to the 6 equal to now 2 times 3 that is 6 so we have 6 raised to the 6 now, our next step will be for us to move 6 to the 6 to the left-hand side. So that we have x to the 6, and as 6 to the 6 crosses to the left, it becomes negative 6 to the 6, equal to 0. Now, this expression can also be written as x to the, this power of 6 can be written as 3 times 2 minus this will be 6 to the 3 times 2 and this is equal to 0 and we can apply the law of indices here which says an expression like this an expression like this can also be written as x to the 3 or raised to the 2 minus this will be 6 to the 3 or raised to the 2 and this is equal to 0 why because from indices the power here and the power here multiplies that is it so now notice that we have an expression in difference of two squares an expression in difference of two squares, for example, when I have a squared minus b squared, this can be written as a minus b times a plus b. And now looking at this expression, we see that a is in the form of x cubed and b is in the form of 6 cubed. Now we're going to be writing this expression in this form now let's do that so we have firstly a minus b which will be written as x cubed minus 6 cubed now times a plus b that is x cubed plus 6 cubed and this is equal to 0 now we have two cases here so for case 1 we have x cubed minus 6 cubed to be equal to 0 and for case 2 we have x cubed plus 6 cubed to be equal to 0. Now we're going to be solving these cases one after the other. Now starting with case 1. So let me write case 1 here. Case 1 we have x cubed minus 6 cubed to be equal to 0. And now looking at this expression, you see that we have difference 
of two cubes. The difference of two cubes, for example, has an identity. When I have a cube minus b cube, this is the same as a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, we're going to be writing this expression, our given expression, like this. Now, let's do that. So, this becomes x minus 6 times x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared. And this is equal to 0. Now, looking at what we have here, you see that we have two cases. But I'm going to be simplifying this first because this is 6 squared. So we have x minus 6 times x squared plus 6x plus 6 squared is 36. And this is equal to 0. Now let me write down these two cases. We have one of the cases to so be x minus 6. Or the other case is x squared plus plus 6x plus 36. So let's equate them to 0. So it's either x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0. Now let's solve the one after the other. Now for this first case, we see that we get our first value of x by moving this negative 6 to the right hand side to become positive 6. Now for this other case, we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. Now notice that a, using the quadratic formula, a is the coefficient of x squared, and that is 1. b is a coefficient of x, and that's 6. And then c is a constant term, 36. And since we're looking for x, the formula we have to use is x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now let's substitute into this formula. So we have x to b minus b, b is 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 6 squared, minus 4 times a, a is 1, then times c, c is 36. All over 2 times a, a is 1. And then simplifying further, we have x to be minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared is 36 minus, now 4 times 1 times 36 is 144. All over 2 times 1, is 2. Then simplifying further, x will be minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 144 is negative 108 all over 2. Now our next step will be for us to simplify this negative 108. And how do we do that? This becomes x equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 108 is same as 36 times 3 times negative 1 all over 2. This becomes x equal to negative 6 plus or minus. Now we're going to be separating each of these terms 36, 3 and negative 1. So this will be the square root of 36 times the square root of 3 and then times the square root of negative 1 all over 2. Now we're going to have x to be equal to negative 6 plus or minus. Now the square root of 36 is 6 times the square root of 3. 3 is not a perfect square so I'm going to be leaving it in the square root times the square root of negative 1 is iota all over 2. And then simplifying further, 
we have x to be negative 6 plus or minus 6 times the square root of 3 times i is 6 root 3i all over 2. So we can separate this result. This is x equal to negative 6 divided by 2 plus or minus 6 root 3i divided by 2. This becomes x equal to negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 plus or minus 6 root 3i divided by 2 is 3 root 3i. That is it. So there are two values of x here. We have one of them to be negative 3 plus 3 root 3i. And the other one is negative 3 minus 3 root 3i. So there are actually three values we found here from here. Now the first one is x equal to 6. The second one is x equal to negative 3 plus 3 root 3i. And this is the third one. That is it. Now let's go to our case 2. And where is our case 2? Well, this is our case 2. Now let's solve our case 2, which is x cubed plus 6 cubed equal to 0. So let's write that down for our case 2. So this is case 2, which is x cubed plus 6 cubed equal to 0. Now paying attention to our case 2, you see that we have the sum of two cubes. The sum of two cubes has an identity. For example, when I have a cubed plus b cubed, this is the same as a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Now let's write this in this form. So we have x plus 6 times x squared minus 6x plus 6 squared. And this is equal to 0. So we've been able to write this expression in this form. That is it. Now, simplifying further, we have x plus 6 times x squared minus 6x plus 6 squared is 36. And this is equal to 0. So we have two cases here. We have, for the first case, we have x plus 6 to be equal to 0. And for the other case, we have x squared minus 6x plus 36 equal to 0. Now we can easily get our first value for x here. we saying x equal to, I'm going to be moving plus 6 to the right hand side. And when I do that, it becomes negative 6. So we can say this is the fourth value for x. Now to get the other two values for x, we're going to solve this other case. So since this is a quadratic equation that cannot be factorized, we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. Now using the quadratic formula, you see that our a from here is 1, our b is negative 6, and our c is 36. So since we're looking for x, the quadratic formula to use will be x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now let's substitute here. So x will be minus b, b is negative 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's negative 6 squared, minus 4 times a, a is 1 times c, c is 36, all over 2 times a, that is 2 times 1. So simplifying further, x will be, now we have a negative here, and we also have another negative here, which multiplies to give positive 
6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 36 is 144 all over 2 times 1 is 2 now simplifying further we have x to be 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 144 is negative 108 all over 2 now there is no need simplifying this further by going into those long steps we've already known that the square root of negative 108 is 6 root 3i so this becomes x equal to 6 plus or minus now the square root of negative 108 is 6 root 3i all over 2 we've got that from our previous solving now let's separate the fraction so x will be 6 over 2 plus or minus 6 root 3i over 2 and dividing we have x to be 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus or minus 6 root 3i divided by 2 is 3 root 3i so there are two values of x from here and one of them is going to be the fifth value of x which is 3 plus 3 root 3i and the other one will be the sixth value of x which is 3 minus 3 root 3i and these are our final solutions so we see that we have two real solutions and four complex solutions well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care